Hey, how's everyone doing today? Well, thank you so much for joining and welcome to today's Mango Mint Feature Spotlight. My name is Abby, in case we haven't met before, and today I'm going to cover our recently added image markup feature. This is a really exciting enhancement that we've added really recently to make our integrated forms add-on even more powerful. Um, we did release image markup in December, and I love this feature because you can use it to do things such as identify injection sites and treatment areas, uh, document treatment plans, and visually track progress. So in today's webinar session, we're going to focus on using image markup for med spas, but you can definitely use this feature for all kinds of other services as well. So even if you aren't, um, if you don't own or manage a med spa, I think you'll still get a lot of really helpful takeaways from today's webinar. Okay, well, let's go ahead and dive in and check out the new image markup feature. So let me go ahead and start sharing my screen and we'll go into the Mango Mint app. Okay, perfect. We are now at the Seven Lakes Med Spa inside of Mango Mint in my demo app here. Let me know if anybody can't see that screen and I've zoomed in a little bit to make it a bit easier for you to see. So um, first, let's see how you can actually add image markup to your form templates. So right now we're here on our calendar screen. Um, this is what you'll see when you log into Mango Mint, but I'm going to show you how to add this to a form. So let's go over here and we're just going to click on settings. And then I'm gonna go right here where it says form templates. And then now we just need to go ahead and select a form to get started. And again, this is where you manage all of your form templates if you're not yet familiar with the form screen here. So what I wanna do now is let's go ahead and we're gonna check out a form that I've made previously. So we're going to click on the form that I have here. I have one that's called injections client treatment record. Um, so let's go ahead and go and update that one. So here we go. I'm just going to click on that now. And so as you can see here, this is our injections client treatment record. Um, this is a form that we have, which um, you can see in the details here. This is filled out by staff members after somebody comes in for a treatment that involves, you know, injectables. So, you know, neurotoxins, fillers, something like that. So it's filled out for every appointment that includes services under the injectables and fillers category. Um, so you can see here, which appointment is it for? And we were able to select all services in categories, injectables and filler. And how often does it need to be filled out? It's filled out for every appointment. And we can see that again, staff members do fill this out. So let's now click on form fields here so we can kind of check out what we have going in this form so far. You guys can see here that I've already added some fields to this form. So we have the first and last name. Um, you can see the birthday is added. We have the appointment details. Those will automatically be added into the form, which is really helpful. I do have a question here about which treatments did the client receive today? So you can see we have some options there. I also have the brand of neurotoxin that was used. Um, so you can add these. And so I have the four different options. You can just choose one of them, and then what brand of dermal fillers were used. I've got the different options there. Um, and then of course we have a place for the provider to add their signature. So those are the form fields that we have going right now on this form. Um, but now I'm gonna show you how to add the new image markup field to your form. So what we're gonna do now is we're actually just gonna click here where it says add form field. So let's go ahead and click that. And then let me scroll down here a bit further. So um, now that we've added that, um, now we can see our different field options that we have to choose from. And so we are going to click on the option for image markup. So you guys can see here, this is the new form field we've added. You can see it's indicated here. There's a little um, pen or pencil icon here. So you know that that is for image markup. So let's go ahead and click on that. And we're gonna you know, make some more edits here and edit this now. Um, so next, like, let's go ahead and customize the image markup field even more. So here we have our field. Um, so first, we do need to choose a prompt. Um, now, let's keep in mind that um, in this prompt, uh, staff members, they are going to see this when they fill out the form. So make it something that's a little bit helpful for your staff members that are reading the form when they're using it. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and add some text here. I'll just give some guidance. 
So I'm going to say, please add your treatment notes, and I'll say, and mark up um, the face template. So now we have a prompt added there. And then next, we actually need to choose our enabled markup tools. So you can see here, um, I'm going to click this and expand that so we can see all the different markup tools we have available. As you guys can see, and I'll let you kind of look through those and read them, you can see that we have eight powerful different markup tools available to you. So we've got everything from a pen and highlighter, note, you know, lines, rectangles, whatever you need. We have a variety of tools to choose from. And something else you'll notice here is that it says enabled markup tools. And you can see what I can do here is I can actually disable certain markup tools if I wanted to. So if you go look here, I can enable some, I can disable others. And I think that that is such a really cool um, you know, thing about this new feature. So I love this setting that we have here because you can really completely customize uh, the markup tools that will be available based on who is filling out the form. So, you know, maybe for example, instead of having a staff member fill out the form, maybe you have a client filling out the form instead. And if you have a client filling it out, you know, maybe you don't want them to have access to all the markup tools. Um, maybe for example, you're kind of worried that having so many markup and annotation tools available might be a little overwhelming for a client who's filling that out. And maybe you don't need to give them quite so much detail, you know, when they're marking up an image. So I love that because you can control that um, for every field that you add, for every image markup field. So that's really neat. So you'll go ahead and go here and decide which ones are enabled. Um, for this example, I'm going to go ahead and leave all of these markup tools enabled for this form. So we'll just go ahead and leave that. We have all of them enabled. Um, and then next, we do need to select which type of image is going to be used for this image markup form field. So you can see here, we can choose from two different image types. So whenever you use image markup on one of your forms, every time you add this new field to a form, you can basically decide between two options. You can decide whether you're going to have a pre-selected image or a template that's already provided um, when the clients or the staff members go to fill out the form. Or if you want, you can use this second option here um, that says user provided. So if you use that user provided option, use that if you want the user to be able to upload their own image or their photo while they're filling out the form. Um, and this is really cool because again, you can have the field behave differently for different circumstances. So for this one, um, I'm gonna actually go ahead and choose the first option here for a template, um, especially because we do have staff members filling this out. And this option is really helpful for med spas who have various forms that you want your staff members to fill out and you want to provide a template in advance. So maybe you have a facial chart, um, some type of facial template, something like that. You want to provide that in advance. So you would want to use that template option. And something else I want to call attention to as well before we go past this is that we do have a variety of blank face templates available to get you started. Um, so you can actually download those from our Learning Center article for image markup. So definitely go there and download those charts. Um, we do currently have four different facial templates available. We also do have a couple body charts as well um, for anybody who needs a body template. Um, but I think especially for med spas, the facial templates will be super helpful for you. And we're gonna continue to add templates as well. So you know, let us know if you have ideas about a type of facial template that might be helpful for you. Um, currently, we do have a few blank charts for faces um, that don't have very much detail on them. So they're just let you kind of add the annotations that you need without too much extra detail. And then we do also have one face chart available that includes a lot more muscle detail if you want something that shows the muscles. So we do have that as well that you can choose from. So let's go ahead and upload um, one of those facial templates to the form. So I'm, I'm actually going to go ahead and pick one of the ones that we have available in our learning center. So I'm just going to click template and then I'm just going to click upload an image. And then I'm just going to choose my image. So let me grab that. Okay. And so I'm uploading a female face image. So we have that right there. And then um, I am also going to require this field. So I'm gonna go ahead and enable the required there. Okay, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and click save. So we've added that template to our image markup field. Perfect. And then I'm just gonna close these, close these out. We don't need to update those. 
Okay, so there we have it. We have the new image markup field. I can click on that again and see all the information that I've added. So let's go ahead and close that. Um, so next, let's go ahead and see image markup in action. And I want to show you guys what it looks like when a staff member fills out the form for an appointment. So next, we're going to actually go over to our calendar. So let's go ahead and hop over there. So go ahead and click on calendar. And then um, we're on January 16th, so that'll work great. And let's go ahead and make a new appointment um, for a client who's going to come in for some Botox. So let's say that um, I'm just going to click that here and we're going to have somebody coming in. Let's say that Aaron Day is going to come in and get some Botox with Harriet. So I'm going to go ahead and select that service from our injectables and filler service category. So we'll go ahead and click that. So we have a Botox appointment. I'm going to go ahead and book that appointment. And then now you can see um, we do have a few different forms that are ready to be filled out here. So now that we have this scheduled, you can see we have the, um, the, the form we were just looking at, the injections client treatment record form. And then we do also have a couple other forms that need to be filled out later um, as well that are associated anytime somebody books the Botox appointment. So let's go ahead and I'm actually going to click specifically on the form we were just looking at so you guys can see that. So I'm going to click the injections client treatment record. And then I'm just going to click a uh, fill out. So again, this is now as if I'm a staff member who is going to fill out um, the form for that appointment. So let's go ahead and fill it out. And here, this opens our um, injections client treatment record right here. Um, so let's go ahead and just start filling out a couple details here. We have first and last name. Let me go ahead and add a birthday. Okay, and then I'm going to do... There's a birthday right there. And then we have our appointment details. So I'm going to, you know, which treatments did the client receive today? So I'm going to say neurotoxins and then um, brand used. I'm going to say Botox. And then um, we're, we're not using any dermal fillers for this appointment. Then I would go ahead and sign here. I'll just do that just for demo purposes. And then this is where I really want to show you guys. So this is where we can actually use the new image markup tool. So let's go ahead and we're going to click on markup image and then we're going to start annotating this image. So go ahead and click here. And again, you can see the preview of the facial template that we added. So it's at hand. It's easy for me to just use that as a staff member since that was already provided in the form. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. And here we go. Um, so this now opens up our really easy to use image editor. So our image editor, um, it offers a variety of markup and annotation tools. So I want to kind of give you guys a bit of a tour and show you all the different tools that we have available. So let's kind of look through here and check out some of the tools that we have up top for you to use. So as you can see, I'm going to click here. We do have a pen and a highlighter tool available. You can see pen or highlighter. You can easily switch between those. Also, something else that's really neat is you can change the color. So it gets pretty advanced in terms of the type of annotations you can use and the ways you can customize the annotations, which I love. So if I click here, um, you can see I can pick from various different predefined colors. We have a lot of different colors available, all you know, a rainbow of colors for you to choose from. And then you can even add a custom color if you want to. So let's say, for example, you have a very specific color. I'm just going to put an example in here. You can do something like that. And there we go, some type of shade of green there. So you can add that if you wanted to. You can even click this if you need to switch between the different color modes, you can do that. So maybe, for example, you have a very specific hex code for a specific brand color or something that you want to use for some reason on an annotation. You can actually really customize it and use that custom color if you wanted to. Um, so I'm just going to close that and just go ahead and choose one of those colors. And something else is right here. You can also change the opacity. Um, so right here, you can see this just indicates the opacity. So basically how transparent is it? So if you want to make your annotations a little bit more see-through, you can easily do that. So you can reduce that opacity and make um, your mark a little bit transparent. So I'll just use that right now, just so you can see how you can still see the lines of the template under it. So I do love that. I'm just going to go ahead and click back and then go back here. And something else that's really neat that you can do, I'll just bump that back up. But you can also change the line size. So this is really cool. Right now it's set to nine point. But if you wanted to make it a lot thicker, you could go up to 19 point, for example. Um, you can even change it once 
or yeah, you can go up here further. I'm going to just go back. You can, um, if you want to go up, you can do something like really thick like that, update it. Um, or if you wanted to make the line thinner, you can easily go back down and go, you know, down to five point or something like that. So it's super easy to do. Um, I love that just so you really have full flexibility and control over your pen and your highlighter, um, you know, annotations that you're making. Um, and then to the right of those, we do have this really neat note tool. So this one's really cool because especially for med spas, this is gonna let you easily pinpoint injection sites and add various text notes if you wanted to. So you can actually add quite a bunch of text if you needed to. Um, it gives you a really easy way to do that in a way that keeps your text notes really organized. Um, and we have different options available for that as well. So you can see here, um, we do have a comment box. We also have this arrow and then a circle or a pinpoint and also an X. And anytime you add one of these, it will also add a place to add your notes as well. Um, so that's really fun to play around with. And then um, we have this shape tool as well. Um, so if you go here, we can check this out. So we have these various shapes available. So right here, we've got um, arrow, you know, if you want to add a line, a rectangle or an ellipse, you can add all of those super easily. Um, and then you can also use this as well if you want to indicate other areas. Um, so you can even update uh, the, the text and the color and the things like that, and also how big the text is as well. So um, really a lot of ways that you can customize these annotations. You can even change the alignment if you want to for your text. So I love that too. Um, so I'm just going to have a little bit of a scenario here and I'll go through and show you guys a few different annotations that we can add. Um, so let's say in this scenario, let's say, for example, that our client, you know, they have a few problem areas that they want to address and we want to make sure we annotate um, what is being done in this appointment. So let's just say that we're tackling some of the most common reasons that someone might go into a med spa to get Botox, for example. Um, so in this example, you know, this client, Erin, um, so let's say she has some forehead wrinkles. She also has some frown lines she wants to tackle and some crow's feet. So I'm just going to go ahead and add some images for those and send it some annotations for you. So let's go ahead and click here. And I'm going to use my pen here to add some um, annotations and also a note for crow's feet. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. I'll go ahead and use blue for this one. So I'll go ahead and click that. And then I'll just go ahead and add um, some crow's feet indicators on here of where I'm actually going to make the injection sites. So maybe I'm just going to add something like this. So we can just do something like this and just add little dots. Those are indicating the injection sites. And then um, I'm now going to use this note tool. And then I want to add some notes about it as well. So maybe I'll click here. And I'm just going to add a note about those crow's feet. So I'll write something like crow's feet. Click that. And then um, something really nice here is that, again, because you can add as much text as you need. So you can also add information about, you know, what type of product you're using, the brand, um, how many units you're using. Um, if you're using, you know, if you're doing neurotoxins or fillers, you know, how many units are you using? What is the lot number of that product? Things like that. Um, so I'm just going to write some notes here. Let's say we'll use 12 units Botox. I'm going to say 12 units of Botox in each side because um, we're going to do that in each side of the eye. We'll do 12 units um, for the crow's feet. And then I'll just add another note here. Let's say I want to add a lot number, for example. I can go ahead and add that. I'm just going to add a made up lot number for you right here. So you can add that. If you want, you can go, um, oh, let me just open that again. You can easily um, you know, space that down if you want to. You can do that, kind of whatever you want to do. So it's really easy for you to read. And then we'll go ahead and close that. Um, so now I've added that annotation. Let's add a couple more here. So I'm going to use my pen again. Um, let's say I want to use the green color this time. And then let's say I want to do, um, I want to mark some injection sites for her frown lines or 11s as you call it. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and add some sites here. So I'll just kind of do something like that. Of course, this is just for demo purposes. So my injection sites may be a little bit off, but you guys get the idea. Um, so now I've added some injection sites for the frown lines between the eyes. 
And then I do also, just like I did before with her crow's feet, I wanna use the note tool to add a note um, specifically for that as well. So I'm gonna click this and then I'm gonna go ahead and add another note here. So I'm gonna write, um, you know, go ahead and put frown lines here and then I'll go ahead and put how many units of Botox we used for it. So let's say 30 units of Botox. Okay, just add that there. And then let's say I also want to add the lot number for here as well. So I'll say lot number and then I'll just add a made up lot number here just so you guys can see what that is like to add something like that. So again, you can add as much text as you need to. So we'll go ahead and close that out. So now we've added that note. And then um, let's say, for example, she also wants to come in to tackle some forehead wrinkles that she has. So I'll go ahead and add an annotation for that too. So I'm going to choose a different color again. And we'll just add some, you know, forehead uh, injection sites as well for her forehead wrinkles that she wants to take care of. So we'll go ahead and add those. And then we can go here, just like we did before. I'm going to add a note so we can see a little bit more information about these injection sites. So I'll go ahead and say um, forehead wrinkles. And then I will put um, 20 units of Botox used. And then of course you can add the lot number, anything like that, that you need to other information, batch number, et cetera, um, expiration dates, that type of information. You can add any of that here. So there we go. There is our lot number. I'll go ahead and close that. Um, so there's some different injection sites that we've mapped out using image markup. So you can, I love this too, because as you hover, you can go and easily see again um, the injections and the notes that you've been adding here. Um, of course, if you need to change anything, you can easily do that as well. So if you need to back up um, or undo something, you can use this undo button, or you can also use the redo button as well um, if you want to do that. So you can just undo and then redo. Super easy to do that. You can click on the different annotations if you want and delete them. So, you know, again, don't be worried about messing something up. It's super easy to edit it and go back as you need to. Um, I'll just add a, a couple other uh annotations for you guys um, for this client. So let's say that during the client, you know, maybe the client also voiced a couple of other concerns. Maybe they're not treating them today, but you do want to use image markup to document those concerns for later. So you can, you know, just as a reminder, kind of an area of concern that you want to watch. Um, let's say, for example, this client has a dimpled chin. And so she's thinking about you know, she's not sure yet, but like maybe in the future she wants to get some Botox injections to deal with that. So we can go ahead and just go um, here. Let's add a shape, for example. We can add a rectangle. Um, maybe I'll make it in a yellow color. And then we can just go ahead. And this, of course, is just for the outline of the shape. I'm just going to leave that as, as is. But we can go ahead and maybe want to reduce the opacity a bit. Um, so we can use that. And then we can just go and do something like this. There we go. And I'm actually going to fill that in. There you go. So now um, you need to use both colors if you want to do like a solid um, shape there. So um, I added that there. And this is really cool because, again, with the reduced opacity, you can still see her, her um, the outline of her chin there. So you can kind of change the size of it if you need to, reposition it. So we can add that and then we could go ahead and add, you know, another note if we want to. So maybe let's try adding an X, for example, instead, just to show you what that looks like. We can add a note there. Um, so client has dimpled chin. Um, and then we can just, you know, say something like area of possible future concern. If treatment is uh, required, I'll say like suggest um, two to six units of Botox. So we'll just go ahead and add that. So super easy to use that to add other annotations um, besides the injection points and things like that. You can, um, I've seen a lot of people use this too, not just, you know, obviously for injections and things like that, but, you know, in a med spa, maybe if you're also offering facials or something like that, um, you're doing some skin analysis on somebody coming in, it's really easy to use those shapes to kind of map out different areas, different problem areas on the face as well. So really great for injections, but also for other types of skin treatments, um, you know, whatever types of treatments you may be doing, lasers, uh, things like that. So I'll go ahead and close that out. 
Um, so that's kind of an overview of how our image markup, our actual image editor works. So it's super easy to use that. Um, I'm now going to make sure that I save my progress here. So I'm going to go ahead and just click save. And then as you can see here, now that we've saved that, this is now here on the form. Um, and then we just need to go ahead and submit the form. So I'll go ahead and click submit. And now the form has been submitted successfully. So I'll go ahead and close that out. There we go. Um, so next, I also want to talk about, you know, what if instead you wanted to have a staff member upload a real photo of the client? So maybe you don't want to use the facial template that I just showed you for your med spa, but you want to have them upload an actual photo during the appointment instead. Um, so this is common with a lot of med spas. You know, maybe you have a process where for every new client that comes in, you take their photo during the initial consultation. And then later after every treatment, maybe you do a follow-up, you know, check-in appointment, say like two to three weeks after their injection in their um, injectables treatments have been given. So you can check the progress, see how everything's kind of shaping up once it's healing, and then you can take progress photos and you kind of take progress photos maybe every few months or things like that. Um, so in that case, you could actually set up a form where you can use the user provided option instead that I showed you uh, previously. So that way the staff member would be prompted to upload a new photo um, of the client as part of their appointment. So let's now take a look at a client, Cynthia, um, that we've done this for previously. So I'm just going to go to search for our clients here. And we have Cynthia Estrada. So I'm going to go ahead and click on her. And then um, on her client details here on the client timeline, you can just go and check out her form submissions. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on forms. And then we can check all of her past form submissions, you know, any any different forms that have been filled out either by her or for her providers related to this client. And um, we have all of those right here. So you can see here, I do have a previous form submission from the previous day. And this is for our form called Client Treatment Progress Photos. And so what I can do is um, you can basically check out the previous progress photo that was taken. So I'm going to go ahead and click Show Details so you can see what that looks like. So if we click on that, um, we can see that this progress photo um, was actually, it was taken on October 12th of 2023. So just a few months ago, and we can see the image uh, for Cynthia. So it just says the prompt, please upload a current photo of the client's face. We can see, um, you know, kind of a small preview there. And then you can already see a couple annotations, but if you want to see that, you know, bigger, all you do is click on that. And then you can actually see it fully expanded. So you can see that we do have a couple different annotations that were left on this client's photo. So you can see here, you can actually hover. Uh, we do have a note that says crow's feet still prevent issues. We've also got another note here, crow's feet issues, you know, recommend future treatment every three to four months. Um, so that's just an example of what that would look like as you keep uploading client photos and then you use image markup to annotate them, then it's really easy to go back and at any time and check your um, progress photos and compare, um, you know, check out your older ones and then see the new ones so you can look at those. So I'll go ahead and close that out now. Um, let's see here. So let's also, let's check out another form um, that kind of does this setup so you guys can see how you would set up a form to do that as well. So I'm going to go ahead and just close this and um, let's go ahead and we're going to go back to our settings. So let me just go there. Okay, I'm just going to click on settings and then let's go ahead and go back to form templates. So we'll go ahead and click on that. Um, so here we're back in the form templates again. So this time we're going to open up a different form that we have set up previously. So now I'm going to open a form that I made um, previously called uh, the client uh, treatment progress photos form. So again, that's the form we were just looking at on Cynthia's client profile. So I'll go ahead and click on that. And then this is the form we've set up. Um, you can see here that um, we do already have some details filled out. So this one, again, this is filled out by staff members. Um, so you can see here, filled out by staff members. It is filled out for every appointment. Of course, you can change that. Um, and this is for appointments with specific services, injectables and fillers. So let's now go to our form fields. And then you can see here um, that we have already added a few different form fields for this form already. So we have the first and last name, uh, the birthday, 
the date of progress photo. And then you can see here that we already have the image markup field. So it says, please upload a current photo of the client's face. I'm gonna click into that so you guys can see what the settings for this look like. So you can see here, we do have the prompt um, and then we do have the enabled markup tools. So in this case, we are letting uh, the staff members use all of these markup tools. But again, if you wanted to adjust that, super easy to do. And then for the image type, instead of using the template like we did in the previous um, form example, this one, um, we actually chose user provided. So um, we're using that. It says the person filling out the form uploads their own image or photo. So that means that it will not add any image at this time. And it's just that when the form is actually in use by the staff member or the client, um, then they would upload the image or the photo during that time. So I'll just go ahead and save that. And then um, now I'm going to go over back to our calendar and we'll see how it works when you upload the image. So I'll just go ahead and go back to our calendar here. Um, let's go ahead and create a new appointment. Um, so let's say that we have a uh, Ryan coming in. So I'm just going to go let's find Ryan here. We have Ryan. Let's say that Ryan Hayes is going to come in here. Um, and I think, let's say, and we already did a Botox example. So let's do, let's say that he's coming in for a Dysport example, uh, a Dysport uh, treatment. So I'll go ahead and click on Dysport here under the injectables and filler category. All right. Um, so he's coming in to get his Dysport. I'm going to go ahead and book the appointment. So we'll go ahead and book that. And then um, now when you need to fill out the form. So what we'll do here is I'm going to go to the pick that specific form we are looking at called the client treatment uh, progress photos. So we'll go ahead and click on that. And then I'm just going to go ahead and click fill out. OK, and then we'll just add a little bit of information here. We'll add the birth date, October 19th. All right, 1955, and then we will go ahead and add um, the date of the progress photo. So we'll just add today's date. Okay, and then we just, this is where we will upload a current photo of the client's face. So I'll go ahead and upload that. And then I will go ahead and go here. Okay, so now we see the uh, photo has been uploaded um, for Ryan here. So we have that. And then um, we would just go ahead and then we just mark up the image. So we'll just go ahead and click mark up image. And then of course, now we can go through and add any annotations that we want to. So, you know, just like we did before, we can go in, let's say I want to use a highlighter instead. If I want to drop down the uh, width of it here, I can easily do that. I can go ahead and mark up some items here. I'll add some injection sites here, some crow's feet that you want to take care of. I'll go ahead and change this color here. We can add some more uh, different injection sites, things like that. We can add, of course, maybe I'll use an arrow for example. So we can do something like this. There we go. Something like that. You can just go ahead and you can, you know, have that point to that, whatever you want to add there. So really easy to go through here and just add any annotations that you need to. And then I'll just go ahead and save that for now. There we go. And then once you have all the annotations that you want on um, this photo of the client, then we just go ahead and submit it. So, and also something else I do want to point out too, it's really easy to reset. So I'm actually, you know, let's say for example, we want to totally reset that. We can just go ahead and click that. And then we can actually get rid of all of the annotations that we just added. And then we can go back in here and add them again. So it's really easy to just reset it entirely if you need to do that and start over. All right, I'll just go ahead and um, let me just go ahead and add a couple annotations back real quick for you. Say, crow's feet.
I won't go through all of them, but just so you guys can continue to see how easy it is to use this editor. And then we'll just go ahead and save that. And then we'll go ahead and submit it. And there you go. Um, form has been submitted successfully. So I'll go ahead and view that form submission. And now we can see the submission date, um, all the information that we added. And then of course, again, just like you saw before, it's really easy to click on that and expand it um, and see it full size if you want to, so if you to get all that information. So I'll go ahead and close that. So that is kind of an intro to our image markup feature. Um, I am gonna check and see if we have any questions in our chat. So let me just go and check that out now. Let me look here. Okay. Um, oh, okay. This is a good question. Um, someone has asked, what if I want my clients and not my staff providers to be able to annotate a template in their client intake form? So yeah, image markup is also really good if you want to use it for your med spa client intake forms. Um, so you can do this really easily. Um, what you would do is you would set up a client intake form in your form templates. So I can just go ahead and show you guys um, what that would look like. Um, just briefly, we'll go back here to settings, of course, and go to our form templates. Um, I do already have a client intake form started, um, actually, so that would be perfect for this example. Um, this is one I haven't fully finished. It's not enabled yet, but um, it's something that I would use for a client intake form, and I was planning to enable it later. So this is one where you could go ahead and have um, your clients annotate a template in this form. So what you would do is just like we did before, you know, you would go here, you would add whatever form fields you need to. Um, obviously, you would add quite a bit of information here all about their history, things like that, their history with, you know, injections, um, different services they may have already received, what products they've used, what was their reaction to it, things like that. Um, but as part of that, one of the fields that you could add there would be the image markup field. And then you would, you know, add a clear prompt for the client. So, um, you know, and maybe you want to use this for something where you want them to mark up a template and kind of let you know what are their areas of concern or something like that. So you could use that to allow them to fill out that facial template and kind of indicate um, different areas of concern or different treatments they're thinking about, point out different wrinkles, problem areas, things like that. Um, so we can just go ahead and give them um, a prompt. It would say something, you know, like, um, we can say like, please identify your preferred treatment and focus areas. And then um, you, again, in this example, as I mentioned before too, like let's say for example, you don't want to give them so much flexibility in terms of what markup tools the client would use. You can easily go through um, and maybe just give them a couple of them instead. So you only let them add, you know, just a pen and a note, for example. So you can just use those ones, just the note and pen. Um, and then for this one, you would go ahead and um, you would just provide the template as well. So you go through, provide one of those facial templates. And again, like I mentioned, we have a lot to get you guys started in case you don't have facial templates of your own that you want to use. Um, and then you would just go through. And of course, um, after you add all of that, I'll just go ahead and add a template here. Okay, let's say, for example, we want to use this one. So that is uploading. We'll go ahead and save that. And then, of course, in your details, you just make sure that who fills out the form. So instead of selecting staff members, you would instead select clients who book an appointment. And then, of course, you can choose the frequency that the form is filled out, you know, what type of appointments is it for, all of that good stuff. So that's how you would handle that situation. Okay, let me see. I think we have one more question. I just want to read that again. Okay, um, this question, someone has asked, um, can I add image markup to, can I add the field more than once to the same form? So that's a great question as well. Thanks for asking that. Um, so yes, really cool thing about image markup is that you can add the image markup field multiple times to the same form if you want to. Um, and each time you add the field, you can have it behave differently, even within the same form. So let's say, for example, I'm going to go back to this um, form that we started looking at in the beginning, the injections client treatment record. 
So let's go ahead and go click on form fields again. And of course we have this image markup field we added previously, but if I wanted to, I could easily go click add a new form field and then I can click image markup again. So, you know, I can have a different template here, um, whatever you want to, if you want to provide multiple templates to give people, you know, a lot of different places to add their annotations, or maybe you want, um, you know, there's a lot of different ways you could think about it. You know, maybe in certain places they are identifying, you know, certain maybe Botox treatment they want in another form, in another field, I mean, you know, maybe they're using a different template to identify fillers or um, or the staff members. In this case, it'd probably be more appropriate for the staff members to, to do that since the staff members will be um, working to create, you know, their customized treatment plan based on the client's concerns. But you can definitely get really granular with it and add this field to multiple to the same form if you want to. And as you can see here, like if we expand that, you can see that you have full control over all this, these settings here for each um, instance of this field in your form. And so you can see how you can get pretty creative here in terms of using these settings and kind of setting that up how you need to, if you need to get um, even more detailed with it and give people, whether it's your providers or your clients, if you need to give them more options for annotating images. Um, and again, that can be your templates, photographs, whatever it may be. So yes, you can definitely do that. Okay, well, I think we are getting, um, we're running up on our time here. I want to make sure I'm conscious of everyone's time here. So um, I think that will wrap up today's feature spotlight on image markup. Um, thank you so much to everybody who joined today's webinar. And if you guys are listening and if you have any questions about using image markup, or if you have questions about using any of our features as well um, throughout Mango Mint, definitely start a chat with our support team. You can actually do that from right inside of the app um, right here. You can actually go up here to the little chat bubble. Um, or of course, you can also check out our learning center. So we have a ton of great resources available on image markup as well as our other features. And if you're not using Mango Mint yet, and you're maybe you're an owner or a manager of a med spa, um, it's really easy to go to mangomint.com to book a live one-on-one -on -one demo, and that'll be totally tailored to your business needs. So I really recommend doing that. You'll be able to speak live with a product expert and get all of your questions answered one-on-one -on -one and see image markup and our other features in action in even more detail. Okay. Well, thank you so much, everybody, for tuning in today. Really excited to talk about image markup with you and excited for everybody to start using this great new addition to our integrated forms. All right. Thanks so much, everybody. I hope you have a great day. Thank you. Bye.